dividing decimals. <clears throat> for, when we're dividing, we always remember the number, the number that comes first, that's the number that goes on the inside. So 10.8 is being divided by 1.5. Now, we can never have a decimal on the outside, so we're gonna have to move it one space to the right. If we do that on the outside, we have to do the same thing on the inside, one space to the right. So now, I'm gonna have 15 on the outside, and I'm gonna have 108 on the inside. 15 can't go into one, it can't go into 10, but it can go into 108 exactly seven times. So I already calculated 15 times seven, it's gonna give me 105. Subtract 108 minus 105 gives me 3. Well, this is the important part. 15 can't go into 3, so I'm going to have to bring down a 0. Instead of having to bring down a 0, I have to put my decimal, put a decimal up top. Then I can calculate 15 goes into 30 exactly two times. the remainder of zero, so my final answer would be 7.2. In this example, we have 9.01 divided by 1.7. So again, 9.01 goes on the inside, 1.7 on the outside. Can't have a decimal on the outside, so I'm going to have to move it one space to the right. I have to do the same thing on the inside. So now, I'm going to have 17 divided by 90.1. <clears throat> I already calculated that 17 can go into 90 exactly five times. 17 times 5 is going to give me 85. I'm going to subtract. 90 minus 85 is going to give me 5. So here, 17, I know it can't go into five, so I'm gonna to have to bring down this one, and I'm gonna to have to put a decimal. And 17 goes into 51 exactly three times. 17 times three is 51. So my final answer is going to be 